Yes, it's me, the mama, Mama Cherry in the house, coming to you. How you doing, peeps? I'm back. Well, I ain't actually been nowhere, but I'm back, okay? Well, I have been somewhere. I've been to America, and I'm back. But I'm back in my kitchen cooking for you. Now, when we do these videos, to be honest, you know me, I don't like no waste. So I ain't just cooking up something just to be cooking it, just to be cooking it. There's gotta be a reason. And the reason today is called dinner. Yes, I'm cooking dinner. And I wanted to put something together really quick and easy for the kids. And I had this... Um, this uh, salt lick dry rub stuff seasoning that was sent over to me by one of our beautiful patrons by the name of Karen Carter. Karen Carter. Hi Karen. Thank you for your present. I know I received it ages ago but I told you I was going to do a video with it and here it goes. This is dedicated to you. I'm going to be doing a Mexican inspired dish. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to get me some of my ghee. Yes, my ghee. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom of the pan. Okay, ghee is clarified butter. And you can use it as a substitute for oil or butter. And I am going to cook my onions. Okay, first thing first, get my onions going. Oh, it smells lovely, that thing. Mm -hmm. To this, I'm going to add our dry rub mix, our marinade. Oh, that's oh, that nice. That smells great. Lovely, lovely. And then to this, we're going to add our mince. Mince beef. Okay, ground beef as to Americans. Mmm, smells good. Smells great. Okay, so if there's anyone out there watching for the first time, I only have one question. What, what took you so long? <laughs> Where've you been? Have you become a patron yet? Have you been saving it? No, you ain't saving it because it's your first time. <laughs> Welcome back to all my family members. Because you know what? You's all part of my family. My family of universal peeps. Yes. Katrina is cracking up today. She thinks I'm on something. You are mental today. I am. <laughs> you know what it is. When you lose weight, your brain kind of goes a little bit funny. <laughs> My brain didn't go funny on me. I thought it was because my birthday Eve and you were so excited about. Oh, shh. <coughs> what? Yeah, yeah. 40 years ago. Uh, Mum, I was... I, I am not 40 until next year. Mum! But 40 years ago, I was thinking about having a baby one day. <laughs> and I said, wait a year. And I did. <laughs> and then I had my bundle of joy. Yay, me. So, let's get this in. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, that's sneezy. Bless you. Okay. All right, let me just go wash my hands after that big sneeze. Yes. Hold up. Let me get out of here for a minute. Wash my hands. Plus, I've been up in that meat. Yeah. Good. So, could you put the um, dry rub on it? Are you going to put me crazy cheese in it? Of course. Oh, put it off. Uh, of course I am. Get out of your way. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, let me get some more of this. Turn that. So what are you making, Mommy? Okay, so what I thought I would do is kind of like a tostada. I've got these corn tortillas. So what I'm going to do is... Just put it on over your shoulder. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I've got these corn tostadas, which I'm going to fry to get them kind of hard-like. Then I'm going to take this mixture. I'm going to add some taco beans to it. I'm going to put some diced tomatoes in it. Um, and then on top of it, it's going to go on top of the tostada shells. 
and then with some melted cheese. Yum. Okay? And that's going to be our dinner with a bit of salad. Sounds delicious. So, here we go. Let me get my tomatoes going. So, what I want to do with these is cut them into eighths. Okay? So, you want them not to be kind of big, but not too big. Okay? Because you want a little bit of this tomato texture going through it. So, it's not really like a puree. It is a dure. <laughs> what? It's a dure. Are you just making up words again, Mum? Of course I am. Of course I am. So, here we go. Alright. So, now I want to share a little news with you guys. I'm off next week to film a pilot for a new TV show. Finally, they're getting me back in the studio. That's me with fingers crossed. Yes, so but it becomes more than a pilot. I ain't gonna tell the name of it or anything like that because I don't want to jinx it. It is just a pilot that they're going to be sending off to one of the major networks. Um, all I can tell you is it's featuring moi and some other sixty-plus women, age, fabulous women, fabulous women, and we should be mentoring some other people. That's all I'm going to say. But, let's wait and see. Okay, so my meat is nearly there. So at this stage, I'm going to add my seasoning. My Cajon. Oh, yes. And then we're going to add our tomatoes. And, let's see here. We're going to drain off the liquid. That's, that's just a, a bean mixture. Oh, it's got tomato sauce in it. Yeah, it's got a little bit, but I don't be going with all that kind of stuff. I want my own sauce. Oh, okay. So. I assumed it was going to be in water. I did too. But now it's pretty together. Okay. I think it needs more beans. I think it does as well. I'm going to add some more beans to this. I've got two tins. Do you keep the liquid in this time? Or? Yeah, I'll leave it in. Because I wasn't sure. I didn't know what it yeah, was. Yeah, I at thought first. it was going to be brine. So yeah. did I, and I did not want that. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's put that in. And we want it to be quite chunky and meaty, okay? Mm -hmm. It's all about the meat. And the beans. There we go. And let's get a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, I need salt and pepper. And remember, I said we're going to add some cheese, but that will be at the last minute. Now, I need to add to this because just that little tiny taste I did. Remember, you must taste as you go. Show me, ain't that the flavor I want. So, I'm going to add some garlic. Yeah, I got some garlic puree here. And I've got some chili pepper. Ooh. Let's try these two. So, like a chili puree? Yep, chili puree. Ooh. You know me, I can find it. So, what I do is I create a well. Okay, to my well, I'm going to add some chili, <clears throat> some garlic, then I'm going to stir those together and then fold in to the middle from the outside so that we can get that flavor going through. Okay. And then we're going to cover this. Whoops. Whoops. It right, and let it simmer. Now while that's simmering, I'm going to move it to the back here. Now we're 
going to start to do our tortillas. Okay? And for these, we need some oil. So I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil. Mum? Yes? Is your clock fast? Yes. How many minutes? Why? Wow, you got to get to the dentist. Well, no, I just want to know how many minutes fast so I know what time I've got to leave. About 10 minutes. Okay, cool. So I've got 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but we can, let me check it for sure for you. Thank you. Yes, it's only 11 past. Okay, cool. Well, I've got so we minutes. are fine. That's fine. Okay. So, what we want to do here, just clean down a little bit. We want to get that hot. So let's turn that up. Oops. Get that get nice and hot. And then we're going to be taking our tortillas and we're basically just going to be flipping them. Okay, let's see here. Hot. Oh my. And once I get these toasted, I will then leave them separate and I will let the family spoon it onto the top because if I do them right now, they'll go soggy. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get these cooked so they're ready. Then we will spoon on top. We will then put some cheese, let it melt, and it's almost like a pizza. Yum. Okay, so let's see here. Must be some water in there. Mm. That's why it's popping up. So let's just get these three going. Okay, let's give that a second. Now, I want to do a question and answer. Tell me what you want. Ask me anything. Anything you want to know, you can ask me. And if you, perhaps maybe on this video, comment. But put a question to us. We will then we'll compile all of those questions and then we shall do a video answering all your questions. Now you know I usually have the thing right here in front of me, but I don't see it. My, 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 oh here it is, here's one. Like I'll see it right in front of me. <laughs> it usually is. Actually this one's not going to do it. Let's go with this one. What's the reason for frying them, Mum? I want them to go crispy. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get them to go crispy. I could deep fry them, but I figure shallow fry. And this is just to crisp them up a bit, and then I'm going to put them on a on a, in a like a bowl, a, a thing, and stick them in the oven, let them finish crunching. Okay. But this it this should do it. Okay. Oh, this is looking nice. Have a look. It smells lovely. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Okay, so let me find something to put them on. Mmm. Can they fit in this? Yeah, they'll just have to go in here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there we go. Cool, okay. Okay, I'm going to put them on some paper towel in a set, but we just want to get them just do three at a time. So then when it's cooked and it's ready to eat, people will do their own? Yep. It's going to be a do your own. Do your thing! Do your thing, baby! Alrighty, here we go. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm gonna put them up like this. So it's almost kind of like if I deep fry them, it's like you know when you go in and you get those salads and the bowls. That's all these are. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the the edible bowls. Yeah. Yeah. They're made out of this. Okay. So I could have deep fried it and probably got a better crunch to it, but um, it's got a crunch. Cool. All right, I need to go. Okay. Cool. So, um, katrina has got to go to the dentist, so I'm going to carry on cooking, and when she comes back, y'all will see the end result. Leave the camera. I'll film it. Okay. 
So my chili, my one pot chili is ready. I have my tostadas. Let's put them there. And where's my spoon? So all we're going to do now at this stage, we're going to take some, place it on the top. Then we're going to get a little bit of cheese. Now if your oven is still on and hot, you can stick it straight in the oven to warm it through. I'm just going to very quickly melt it in the microwave so that you can see what we're doing. Okay, put that there. And once it is melted, we're going to top. You can then top it with um, additional tomatoes if you want. I'm going to put a homemade tomato salsa on the top. As well as if you've got any guacamole, go guac it up. Here we go. Here they come. And let's just get a little bit of my homemade salsa. Put that on the top. And then top it. I'm coming back with an olive. And boom, baby, boom, boom. Delicious meal for lunch or dinner or any time of the day. So a little bit of peace, a little bit of love, and a whole lot of soul from the mama. Bye-bye. Delicious.